Okay, so. go. So basically what we were just saying was, you know, um, when you go to an interview, don't say anything negative about the company, the previous company, you know, um, because that's only speaking about you as a person. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really prove anything. It's just your thoughts. But um, if you do say something negative, they're not going to want to hire you. They'll be like, well, you know, if we make a mistake, is this person going to talk about us? You know, to the next employer. So um, you just kind of have to let it go a little bit. And even though it's difficult, because you're, you're, how do I say this? You're hurt. Mm -hmm. You're upset. You're angry. And you're like, okay, so why is this happening to me? Or why did this happen to me? Um, you're taking it personally. Yeah. It's, it's easy to do that. But I don't, I don't think it's something personal. I think those people have their own issues. And that's what's being done there at that employer who shall remain nameless <laughs> that's smart <laughs> so um we talked about the the attitudes of the people mm -hmm. stuck that, on stupid yeah they're very stuck on stupid i'm sorry no i like that, that that's that's something that you know you hear that in middle school kids and elementary school kids and high school you hear people talking about each other and having uh, you know it's almost like a competition but you're there to work you're there to do your job and all you can worry about is yourself and these people have these issues let them have their issues just don't buy a subscription to that okay <laughs> you, you know you don't need a subscription to that magazine you just do what you need to do and keep it moving forward that's all that's all you can do you can't change anyone you can't shut them up i mean don't we wish we can walk around with duct tape and oh put it God, over yes. somebody's mouth you know but okay they have a right to their opinion they have a right to say what they want to say to a certain extent but um you know let them be stuck on stupid as long as you know you're doing a good job there's nothing they can do about that really you know it's between you management um as long as you're getting along with everybody um, your your situation that you had where you were friendly with someone and then all of a sudden for no apparent reason that you could think of this person kind of just became nasty or then that's their issue there's there's something wrong with them there's nothing wrong with you you do what you need to do so um like the whole situation like it just changed overnight yeah like first she was my best friend and then she's like oh i don't want to talk to this person anymore yeah and it, it makes you wonder like what what happened where did that come from yeah did you get up on the wrong side of the bed or something but then again you have to think it's it's not you it's them they have the issue they have some something going on that um Maybe they have, they're having a hard time. Maybe something happened at home and they're just, their whole attitude has changed and they come in like that and they're like that with everybody. Who knows what's going on? But you let them have their, you know, their issues and their stuff and keep walking. Do your stuff. I mean, you try to be a good friend and say, hey, what's going on? She goes, nothing. And says something else. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe she just does a want to deal with it she doesn't want to talk about it okay as long as you know you didn't do anything wrong yeah you know you haven't changed that person has changed or maybe that person was not good to begin with yeah maybe the mask fell off <laughs> if you think about it it's like you know she's uh playing a role and maybe the mask just came off can yeah. be that now okay. she flipped the script and she's the she's the the evil stepsister and not the good you know so think about it that way yeah you know try to stay positive and things like that will get to you and then you're like okay so 
what did I do or could I have done something better? Well, if you think that you did everything you were supposed to do and you didn't hurt that person in any way intentionally, then keep it moving. If they don't want to talk about it, don't deal with it. You deal with it your way. They don't want to deal with it. That's their problem. That's true. Okay. Because that's all you can do is just be you. You be you. You be you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, you know, let them be them. And, you know, eventually down the road, maybe that person will want to say what's going on. If not, hey, there's people are lessons. You know, these are lessons that we have to learn. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we think, you know, these friendships are going to last forever. But life doesn't work that way all the time. So, you know, um, take it as a blessing or a lesson. Yeah. Uh, too. Put that on a wall. Yeah. Yeah. But those are just my thoughts. I don't know. Good things thoughts. from things that I hear and things that I've experienced myself. And, you know, um, you'll find people that are just bullies mm -hmm. throughout life. You will find that. And I'm 40 years old, and you will still find that as an adult. You will find people that just have nasty attitudes and they just can't think of anything else than themselves and their satisfaction and their happiness so they will trample and push and bully and you're, you're gonna get that and you're gonna have to learn to deal with those as it comes along and then you'll get the nice people that just want to see you happy and you know they encourage and they guide and they help you as much as possible but you're you're gonna get a mix it's not gonna be all you know peaches and cream the rest of your life yeah so you have to learn to deal with that within yourself how do you deal with things it's not what people say it's how do you deal with it you know you can't control anyone else you can only control yourself and what you do and how you react and sometimes people want to see a reaction so you know are you going to give them the satisfaction of seeing you upset of seeing you down no it's not worth it you don't give anybody that satisfaction you don't give the remote to anybody over your life okay so you're in control you've got the remote 